Okay, so I'm with manager Simon Weaver after a very hard fought 2 1 win over Stockport County. Very different game from Brackley. Yeah, indeed, yeah. It was, it was very tight, um, especially that last 25 minutes when they threw everything for the kitchen sink at us. And, um, you know, we had to defend. You know, we had a little bit of luck near the end, but we also had a, an unbelievable performance from the goalkeeper. Um, but let's not take away from the first 65 minutes where I thought we were excellent, you know, and we dominated at times and, and put some great balls into the box and great link up play down the sides. And I thought everyone played the part. It seems to be as well that we've seen that uh, partnership between Jake Spate and James Walshaw now starting to come to, you know, into form. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I thought uh, they're looking for each other in training and um, they're going to be a force, you know, they just need games, you know, they've had back to back games. Um, got back to back wins and uh, it, their work rate is very good as well uh, they're looking for each other and they both can put the ball in the back of the net it's only a matter of time for Jake um, you know he's still getting match fit he's in his, the entire pre-season um, but you can see his touches his awareness is good and um, and Wally you know is in full flow now you know another goal and he's right in where we want him to be in that six yard box I mean, it must be pleasing for you as well, because obviously there's that piece in the advertise about Jake sort of saying, you know, he, he wants to hit that 20 goal mark this season. You know, he wants the goals, but when he's providing assists like that for James, I mean, that must be really, really. Well, it's pleasing. the same thing, you know. I think the the good thing about Jake is he he understands the the bigger picture. You know, he do, he doesn't really mind who scores the goals as long as he's in a winning team and we keep climbing the table. And, uh, that's the big picture. I mean, would you say we've we sort of turned a corner a bit now? We've had two wins on the trot, two great performances as well. Would you say the team's finally gelling? You know, is it is it coming to the uh, the floor now? Yeah, I, I think it helps when you get big players back. You know, we had Lewis, Lewis Turner back. You know, you had Dave McGurk playing 90 minutes today. And Jake Spate, like you mentioned, you know, he's back and getting towards match fitness now. Um, so all big players. You know, we, we lost Nicky Featherstone in the week, but mm. you know, I thought Adam Novikoski was, was superb today. Uh, good on the ball as well as um, you know his aerial threat. And, his, his strength as well and dispossessing the opposition but I thought he was excellent it's a team performance and um, yeah this should start gelling you know we said last week that right, we're, we're on a run of games now you know where we've been able to put in a consistent team selection and and, uh, and therefore with that we should be, be seeing the best out of our team it's so hard to pick on individual players because everyone's played so well but Lloyd Kerry I mean for a little bloke he's got such a great leap and head of the ball yeah, yeah, all sides of his game are good. That's you know what I saw when he was at Tamworth, and uh, whether he's in the middle or on the right, and he's been on the right the last couple of weeks, and he's been instrumental. Him and Craig Nelthorpe have provided great ammunition, great supply line for the four, front two. Um, but they've also they're not flimsy wingers, are they? You know they, they put the foot in, they'll get up and edit, and the plucky characters. So you know they've, um, like I say, been pivotal in in, in the two wins. Now we've got Albion Sports in the West Riding County Cup during the week. Is that a game in some respects you could sort of do without, you know, being so well in the league now? Is it, you know, you want to concentrate on the league and keep that consistency going? Yeah, it is really, yeah. <laughs> we, um, after what happened last year, you know, we lost Chris Hall near the end of the mm. season in that cup final and, you know, we had other injuries to, to deal with at the time. Um, it, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, you know, it, it, it's, it's the least of our priorities, but it will give us an opportunity um, to, pl to blood some young lads, you know, and we'll fill it with young lads and lads who perhaps have been on the bench today. Um, we'll give people an opportunity, and whether they're 16, 17, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it'd be great to see them pull on a shirt and and play and uh, you know and, and enjoy it. You know, at senior level. And of course, then we got um, a day's extra rest with the Gloucester match being put to the Sunday. Do you think that was going to be a help or a hindrance having that day? I'd rather play on Saturday, like everyone else is. Saturday's the football day, really, but. Um, there are worse things in life, just get, get on with it. You know, we'll, we'll travel there, um, probably miss the Sunday lunch, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll do things right and you know, we we'll want to continue this run now in the league and get some momentum going. What's been the most pleasing thing for you as a manager? Obviously, like I said, we've had the 5-0 against Brack, we've had the 2-1 against a very good Stockport County team. What's been the best thing for you about these two games? I think the chance has created. You know, I think look, going forwards, I think we've, we've been superb. I mean. Yeah, I think probably everyone will comment on oh we were up against it the last 20 minutes but they were losing and they've got a massive crowd behind them and you know that that really does give them that impetus to move forward but I think um, the chances we created in the first half we would have taken them you know we could have been three or four up and then it's a different story then you can relax and play a bit more because um, there, there would have been gaps you know at the back there um, but overall work rate and the chances created. 
No, the final thing to finish on is the new stand. I mean, the noise that came from it, the reverb, it was absolutely fantastic. It was, yeah, it's awesome. I think the architect's done a great job, um, both in the colour and, 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 you know, like you say, the acoustics are fantastic. It really does close it in, and um, the ground's looking in fine fettle now. Let's hope so we can fill it, you know, with more performances like this. That's great. Thank you very much, Simon.